Hello friends, happy Wednesday. I am bringing this video to you a couple days later because we had Memorial Day on Monday and I was not working and I hope you were also enjoying the vacation. We are starting a new book today, but we will still be reading from the Adventures of the ba Bailey School Kids series. The book is called Skeletons Don't Play Tubas. Before I introduce our questions, you know what we have to do. We are going to say our Kids on Course motto. You, all you guys have to do is repeat after me if you are new here, and then I will introduce the questions and we will get reading. All right, let's go. I am smart. I believe in myself. I am a great kid. I have courage. I deserve to learn. Today is going to be awesome. And it's going to be awesome because we are not only starting a new book, but the weather is finally warm outside, which means summer is here. So before we start chapter one called Bailey City Cemetery, I'm going to give you our two questions so that you can be thinking about them while I'm reading out loud. Question one, why are the Bailey school kids in the cemetery? Question two, who is Liza afraid of? Now that you guys have those, let's go ahead and get started. Boo, Eddie jumped out from behind a big tree and waved his baseball cap. Eddie, Liza screamed, grabbing her friend Melody. You scared me half to death. I told you it was a mean thing to do, Howie said, coming from behind the same tree. You guys are as jumpy as cats on Halloween, Eddie said, pulling his cap down over his curly red hair. Melody shook her black braids. You didn't scare me, but you have to admit, this place is creepy. It was early in the morning and the four friends were in the Bailey City Cemetery, collecting leaves for a school project. Huge trees filled the cemetery and large red and yellow leaves littered the ground. But it is the best place to collect leaves, Howie said, holding up a handful of brightly colored leaves. I bet I have 10 different kinds already. Look at this one, Liza said, holding up an orange leaf. It's really different. Talk about different. Look over there, Eddie pointed. That has to be the strangest looking fellow I've ever seen. The four kids looked at a very tall, very skinny man. He was holding a huge black box and walking toward them. I have never seen anyone so skinny, Melody said. We're so pale, Liza added. He looks half dead. Maybe he is dead, Eddie snickered. After all, we are in the cemetery. Liza shivered. His box is bigger than he is. Eddie giggled again. That's probably his coffin. Just then, the skinny man looked at the four kids and smiled, showing huge yellow teeth. Let's go, Liza squealed and ran out of the cemetery. Her three friends followed her as fast as they could. The tall, skinny man was coming toward them. We have a picture to finish off our chapter. You can see Liza is very afraid, so she is running out of the park. And the friends don't look so scared. And that is the man... That is making Liza a little nervous. All right, I'm going to remind you of our questions one more time, and then you are free to go and do whatever you want for the rest of the day. Question one, why are the Bailey School kids in the cemetery? And question two, who is Liza afraid of? That is all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you on Friday. Bye, everybody.